I personally relate to the theme of the exhibition, Wild Things, because it's talking about the various odds that one has to overcome to pursue an art career full-time. Things like rejection, lack of support, being underappreciated, and even when you get past that, there's still a lot more to fight for or to fight with. My artworks in this exhibition are exploring notions of a sense of community in my immediate environment. So specifically, it's exploring relationships, friendships, how close two people who know each other are, and what they do in their time of relaxation. I make art to fulfill an urge, to, in simple terms, to get an idea out of my head and into a tangible thing that I can then share with the world. I'm inspired by artists, musicians, movies, writings, moments, and sometimes color. There are things that I interact with, and I feel like I have no choice but to aspire to make something that might make someone somewhere feel something. I would say the most enjoyable part of creating is when I'm in the flow, when the concept of time ceases to exist, and it feels like an automated process. Yeah, when you when you forget that you're painting, but you're actually painting. I would say the most frustrating part is when something refuses to work. No matter how you approach it or how many different techniques you throw at it and it just refuses to work. My ideal working conditions would be lots of space, quiet surroundings, and a very intentional state of mind. The way I personally overcome creative blocks is by working, just continuing to work. And sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. And uh, occasionally the answer might be a nap. Sometimes the answer is a nap. I think art is for expression, for healing, for feeling, and sometimes an escape from reality. While I'm creating the work, I, I don't have the viewer in mind. I don't think about who will see it and how they will react in that moment. I'd like the viewers of my work to know that I did not hold anything back while creating that particular piece in that very moment. Yeah, that I gave it my all. Well, in the last two years, the, uh, I've, I've been able to make a lot of experiments, a lot of abandoned explorations. I've also learned to get a bit detached from the work, yeah. And uh, the, in terms of technical progress, it kind of surprises me sometimes, like what I can, what I can manage to do, mm. based on where I started, or compared to where I started. Looking into the future, apart from the, you know, the, the obvious that I would like my art to have evolved into something better. I'd also like to be ingrained in the psyche of art lovers everywhere, or at least the ones that interact with the work. I'll say the three words that would describe me as an artist are grand, refined, and sublime. The grand is specifically because of sometimes the scale that I work with, mm -hmm. and maybe the, the, the ideas that I approach. Sometimes I might feel so big, yeah. And the, the refined bit is, is about technique, it's about how I paint and uh, how meticulous I can be with the detail sometimes, depending on what I feel like needs to be either outstanding or 
well executed. And the sublime is, is the part about my personal aspirations for beauty. Yes, I think I think I think part of the things that I that I chase is beauty in my work. Yeah. And I know that is that is a a very subjective term, but I'm speaking from my own position. <laughs>